Look, I don't care what you say. There is no way you can whitewash her. What we were involved in was an extortion case that led to a murder charge, and she was my accomplice. Was she convicted of the crime? No, the charges against her were dropped. Then she's innocent. She was lucky. Why are you so anxious to incriminate her? If you felt anything for her, had any feelings at all, I think you would help her. Whoever said anything about feelings? She was a meal ticket. That's all. A nice, cute, blonde meal ticket. Contempt. Whatever that means. It means I think you're repulsive. Look, I don't give a damn what you think about me. You don't have to like a man to do business with him. And I'll tell you something. If you want to keep this out of the press, you better pay me off. Not a chance. If you want to try to spread your lies, go ahead. See if you can find somebody to listen to you. No one has ever blackmailed me before. Nobody's going to start to do it now. If you remember the last time you tried extortion, it led to a murder charge. A charge I happen to have beaten. You may not get off so easily this time. It seems that's something you ought to remember more than me. After all, you've got a hell of a lot more to lose than I do. That's true. It's also true that I can afford to lose it, and you can't. Now you stay away from me. I've got nothing more to say to you. All right, Capwell. You asked for it. Whatever happens now, you brought it on your own head. Uh, and I uh, finally decided it wasn't fair to him, so I took him home to meet my husband. Yeah, what did he say? That he was sorry. I could see the pity in his eyes. Actually, he was wonderful about it. He even stayed with him until the people from the nursing home came. Yeah, well, Warren's real good people. You know, you could do worse. I have a husband, Cruz. I can't get involved with Warren or anybody. Hey, I'm just... Speak of the devil. How you doing, man? All right, Cruz. Listen, uh, I think I'll leave you two to talk. You want to catch up with me later outside of OR? You're right. Hi. Hi. Was everything okay? Yeah, sure, sure, no problem. They uh, they came about uh, twenty minutes after you left. Thank you for staying. My pleasure. I'm sure you have a lot of questions. No, no, not right now. Not about this. Well, uh, I could have sworn that's why you were here. No, actually, I'm I'm here to to strictly cover a story. One of the cops outside said you were the officer in charge. May I ask you a few questions about Gina DeMont? Uh, uh, my question first. How come you get all the big stories? Because <laughs> I own the paper and I assign them to myself. Yeah, that's called nepotism. So who cares? Maybe one of them will bring me a Pulitzer. No, seriously now. About Gina. Oh, uh, well, there's not that much I can tell you. I don't even know all the details yet. Uh, Mrs. DeMott's in surgery because there's pressure on her brain. They don't know what her chances are or uh, how long it'll take. Any idea how the accident happened? Not yet. Hank Judson's running around here somewhere claiming that she tried to kill him, missed him, and crashed. Oh, that's interesting. That's what I call a borderline scandal. Hey, funny to me, it just sounds a little far-fetched. Yeah, well, either way, it doesn't sound very much like Gina, does it? Yeah, that's right. You know her. You knew her sister. I forgot about Summer Blake. Well, that's all I know. I wish I could tell you more. Yeah. Well, look, thanks anyway. I'm, I'm going to stick around here and see if I can dig up something else. I mean, you know, being involved with the Capitals and all, maybe it's some front page work. Yeah, I have to go uh, see Cruz. Maybe we can talk later. Yeah. I think we should. Hey, Jimmy Olsen, looking for a story? Truce. I got a good story for you. A real winner. Oh, yeah? What about? Gina DeMott. Some trouble she was in seven or eight years ago. Yeah, well, now, hold on now. We don't print stories like that. You'd be crazy if you don't. It's real juicy. Send old C.C. Capwell to an early grave. Look, I said forget it, okay? Okay. Okay, pal, but you don't know what you're missing out on. I guess that's not my problem. Guess not. Warren, I overheard you refuse to print his gossip. I want you to know that I appreciate that. Well, 
I mean, in all due respect, Mr. Capwell, I didn't turn him down because of you. I did it because of Gina Summer's sister. Also because I know what kind of man Hank Judson is. Whatever your motives, I'm grateful. Fine. But you should know that I'm not the only ball game in town. I mean, he's going to find somebody else to print that. Well, I'm sure he's going to keep on trying. But whoever does, they're going to open up their newspaper for a libel suit. He may find that he uh, is having a little less luck than he thinks. <laughs> you know, I don't think I'm going to like stories like this very much at all. Why is that? You have to find any good guys. <laughs>